the day like for you coming back wrestling in the hometown, probably besides long and tiring? Uh, I mean, yeah, it was a long day, but it's, I don't know, I just see a lot of people, a lot of people that I know. Some of my kids I went to high school with and old teammates and stuff showed up, so that's cool. You talk a little bit about the decision to go up and wrestle 33 the last couple outings and what's gone into that. Uh, I mean, it's just kind of, I don't really know how to put it, just kind of getting new opponents and a little bit, just making weight every three weeks is a little bit tougher than every week, I say, so just felt like going up, maybe wrestling some different kids, and I talked to Tom about it, and he didn't think it was a bad idea, and he, he said, whatever works for you, I mean, go for it, so I kind of just tried it out. It doesn't mean I'm staying here or whatnot, but just different just kind of trying it out, I guess. Because you and Gilman see each other so often, yeah. time after time. Did that factor in, too? I mean, I mean, somewhat, yeah. Just like, we don't even have a kid who wrestles 33 at open since Topher Carton moved up, but... So, I mean, kind of just filling in another weight to have, and... Yeah, I mean, me and Gilman had wrestled a few times in open, so I guess that could have something to do with it. But. You still picture yourself at 25 next year and maybe beyond next year? Or? Yeah, for sure. At this point, yeah. But there's a lot of time to come. Who knows? We'll see, though. What do you get? You know, we touched upon this in that interview when I talked to you before Midlands, but, but you know, to have it on camera so more people can hear about it. What are you getting out of those daily scraps? with not just Gilman, but McDonough, Ramos, Terry Brands, on down the line, uh, Ballweg, I mean, Dan Dennis. You get better, but one thing, one thing bigger than getting better really is just get tougher and learn to wrestle hard through every situation. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of times where you feel sorry for yourself and they're getting the better of you, so you put your head on the mat. That's normal for people to do. But I mean, just kind of, Never quitting and just not being satisfied. I don't, there's a lot to learn from wrestling those guys. I mean, you get better. I just feel big improvements in, at all positions just because I've learned to wrestle through everything. Instead of like, when someone's getting the better of you, just kind of giving up the takedown, like, because they're in good position. You fight, you fight, you fight, and then they put your hip on the mat and you kind of turn over. Just keep fighting. Have you added to your arsenal on your feet, even this year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it looked like you were using some stuff that I, I haven't seen you use much here in the finals. Yeah, I mean, I like I added to I like my Russian ties, and I've just kind of added some different techniques techniques from the Russian, and then just wrestling hard really opens them up too. I mean, if you stand around, there's only so many things you can do, but when you get after them and they're giving you different feels, I mean, opens up different moves.